Lamb's an Aussie favourite, so I'm going to show you how to cook the most beautiful lamb rack dish. This is something that I love to do on a special occasion because lamb racks are a prime cut. Now I've got a four pointer certified organic lamb rack here and I've brought it out of the fridge about an hour ago so it comes to room temperature. That's just going to make it so much easier to cook and it's going to be perfectly pink in the centre. So I'm just preparing some carrots to go with this. I love the sweetness of the carrots and I'm going to give them a twist by steaming them and then making them into an olive oil puree. So once I've peeled them, I'm just going to top and tail them. Beautiful fresh carrots here, nice and crunchy. And then cut them into small rounds of about two centimetres. Now I've placed some water into a steamer and I've placed a steamer basket on top. And we're going to steam this with a garlic clove. This is going to become really soft and sweet and it's a lovely addition to a puree just like this. So into the steamer basket, just gather them, there they go. And then we'll pop the lid back on and this is going to steam for about 12 to 15 minutes or until the carrots are tender. Now I'll just clean down and we can get onto our lamb rack. So I'll just open the pack and then I like to pat it dry with some paper toweling because I want a really crisp crust. So we want to take away some of the moisture. So we'll just take that out. And you can see there's a nice film of fat on it. This is going to render down and give us that crisp topping. So with some paper toweling, just press down on it. You can see it's been trimmed nicely and the bones are exposed and French, which just means they've cleaned the bones so they're nice and tidy. Now, after I've done that, I'll grab a sharp knife and I like to score this. Don't cut all the way through to the meat, just the fat, because this is going to allow the fat to render. If you go all the way through to the meat, what will happen is it'll dry the meat out. We don't want that. Great. Now I'm going to turn my pan on. We want that to be on a medium high heat. I'll add a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil and a generous pinch of salt over the top. We'll turn it over on both sides and now skin side down into the pan. I want to give that about three minutes on each side or until there's a lovely crust and it's golden. Once I've turned it over, I'll place it into the oven 200 degrees for about 12 to 15 minutes. The timing will depend on how large your lamb rack is. Once that's cooked, it's going to come out of the oven and rest. Okay, the lamb is cooked. I also added a piece of rosemary just to give it that lovely flavour. And then we'll just take it out of the pan and just pop it onto another board to rest. Now, if that's been cooking for about 12 minutes, we want to rest it for six. Also, when you take a pan out of the oven, the handle is super hot. Even if you try to remember not to touch it, sometimes you do and you will burn yourself. Good little trick is just to get your tea towel and just cover it. That'll just make sure that it's completely safe and no one grabs that and burns themselves. While that's resting, let's get onto our carrots. Look at that. That is going to look absolutely spectacular on the plate. Now we'll just take that out of the steamer basket. And then over here, just into a jug, I'm going to add the carrots and start to puree it. I like to puree this when they're still piping hot so they become really smooth. To ensure that you have a smooth puree, it's a good idea to cook these for quite a while. If they're just al dente, so a little bit firm in the centre, then we're going to get a grainy puree and we don't want that. So last few carrots. And now I'll add a pinch of salt and then some good quality extra virgin olive oil. I want to taste the mild grassy flavour of it. It's a really nice pairing. So we'll start with about a tablespoon and then I'll start to puree. Then I'll gradually add a little more of that olive oil. Alright, have a look at that beautiful, creamy, silky smooth puree. I'm going to take that blade out and I'll just have a taste for seasoning. Mm. That combination, extra virgin olive oil carrots, it works every time. Okay, before we start plating up, just a few more things. A garnish to go with this, some kaolettes. I love the look of them with that tinge of purple. And they've got a really nice mild flavour. So I'm just going to pick off some of the leaves and then take a small handful away. 
Then I'll crumble some feta into the bowl. Just a small amount of salt because the feta is salty. Some extra virgin olive oil and freshly cracked pepper. And then with your hands, give that a quick mix. And that's just going to be the real freshness to tie the whole dish together. Now to carve the lamb, we'll take that rosemary off. It's rested nicely. And I'm going to serve this just cut in half. And I'll show you how perfectly cooked that is in the center. See how it's pink from the top down? That's how it should be. And there's not too much liquid on the board because all of those juices have gone back into the meat, keeping it super moist. To serve our puree, two dollops. Oh, let's go three, because I love it that much. And just a small smear. And our lamb can go on top. Sit up proudly. And for our kaolette and feta salad, that can just go over the top no sauce required because that puree is saucy enough. Carrot and lamb, a spectacular dish. I think that looks pretty fancy and as my dad would say, people would pay good money for that in a restaurant.